It's just really awesome to uh, visit with the people, pray with the people. And one of the things I enjoy doing is I sing and play the guitar. And so I get an opportunity to sing some of the old hymns with them and things like that. It's really, really neat. It is a privilege to be able to enter into their life knowing that they um, don't have a long time to live. But they're, what's really awesome about it is they're a, it's like a history book setting before you and you get to open it up. And I'll ask them how they met their spouses and, and tell me their story about their kids and, and they're, they're, they just come alive. And um, some of these history books are gonna close soon. So I think God uses me to open it up and I'll, I'll just say, just tell me your story. Tell me what you're about. Tell me how you met. And it's really neat when you meet a couple that's 90 years old and they said, well, we met at a dance. And it's, it's just really awesome. And um, it's, you know, it's hard at times because you, you really get close to these people and then they pass and then you go on to the next. And then it's just, every time I enter a door, I say, Lord, you're gonna have to guide me through this because it's another day, a new day, and a new opportunity just to open their life up. When I walk the hallways of St. Francis, and what inspires me is, you know, the mission statement. And the, at the end of that mission statement is their love for Jesus Christ. And I see that everywhere I go. And being a minister for many years, it gives me an open door that they know right away that I'm a chaplain and, and that I'm faith-based. And so it's, I see it everywhere. Um, when I walk the halls, I see it. And I'm, you know, I wouldn't want to say I'm proud because I don't want to say that, but I'm, it's a joy walking the hallways of St. Francis and seeing the mission statement everywhere you go. And I really believe that's what they're about. Being an instrument, I, um, with me playing guitar and singing, and, and a lot of times I'm that instrument, I really believe this, that we are the hands and feet and the mouthpiece of Jesus. And when we step into a, a room, a, a talk to somebody, uh, who are scared, they don't know about the outcome or how the outcome is going to be. And then you get to be the mouthpiece of Christ, you get to be the music of Jesus, you get to be His hands, His feet. And it's really neat when, when you know by walking into that room or to their house, wherever it may be, that they just sense a calm, that it's okay. And I think they really do. I really do believe they just sense the presence of Christ. And I have an opportunity to do that and it's just really awesome. The doctors, the nurses, what I see, even, even when, with the hospice that I see, is that we're a team. They, I respect them as nurses, as LPNs, as aides, and, and we all just, I, I don't want to in an old 60s, 70s word, but we all jive together very well. We just really do. We have a way of working. If they see, if they're with a patient and they see a patient that may need me, they'll say, Fred, you need to go visit this patient. And we're all working together. No one's trying to raise, rise to the top. We're all working together. And I see that even with the doctors and the nurses today. You know, being in hospice, I'm not in the hospital a lot. But when I'm here, it's just neat when you walk the hallways and, every, and it, no matter what staff you see, they're saying, how you doing? I don't see any people here that are just think, well, I'm, I'm way up here and you're down there. Not at all. We're a team and we're all doing it because of the mission statement says it's because of our faith in Jesus Christ. We're all in this together. Working with my patients is, is a little bit different than what a nurse would be at the hospital, but um, every one of us on our staff team realizes that it's, you know, we're going out under the umbrella of St. Francis and we're carrying that into their homes, or whether it be a nursing home or a home. And so uh, what, when they see us, they basically are seeing St. Francis because you know they've met possibly never come into the doors but they meet me they meet a nurse and then we come in with the love of Christ and take care of them and and hug on them and laugh with them and get them to talk well that that speaks for St. Francis and I even see that here and so what you see at the hospital you'll see also in the homes my name is Fred Burgard I've been affiliated with St. Francis for the last year I'm their hospice chaplain and uh, one of the, I would say one of the greatest jobs I ever had.